Good day to you all. It's February 27, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We are bracing for another storm. If you guys like what I do, please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. This storm, if we didn't have this most recent storm, which dropped many, many feet of snow up here, this would be the biggest storm we've seen all season. So we're about to get impacted again, and it's not a good, not a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign. Also, something really horrible is that all the roads coming up are still closed and there's no gas in town anywhere. And I am, look at that, 30 miles till empty. I'm just going to do a short ride right now because it just started snowing and then I don't know what we're going to be doing later. I could probably get one or two more short little drives in, but that's going to be it. That's going to be it. And then I'm going to have to walk around, which is fine. I need to get off my lazy butt anyway but we gotta do some walking. Gosh forbid. Now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled just in case any gas trucks happen to make it because I know Highway 18, my wife said, the roads weren't bad because she left town today. They're allowing people to leave town. They just aren't allowing people to come back up unless you have an ID showing that you're a resident, but that's gonna change soon as well. Let's see, is there gas there? Wait a minute, oh no, there's no gas. It looked like 7-Eleven had gas, but I was just smelling something funny. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you are in Big Bear right now and you want to leave, you, you better leave now um, and go down Highway 18 to Lucerne Valley area, and then you can drive yourself around the whole mountain range to get home. But unfortunately, uh, anyone else that wants to come up to go skiing or snowboarding, that's not gonna happen unless you're a resident and can prove it. It's so beautiful, guys. There's, there's so much snow, it's so pretty. But yeah, this snowstorm has just begun. It's light flurries right now, but it has just begun. Six is closed, they got no gas. I know none of these places had any trucks sneak up here. And if they did, there would be the longest line right now. Temperature outside says 33 degrees. That's gonna start falling very shortly. So we're gonna, as I said, we have to do these shorter drives just to give you guys just a small update and stuff. And I'm doing these drives in the part of town where most of you spend your time. And this Valero has no gas. It's got caution signs wrapped around the gas station. Such a bummer, such a bummer. Yeah, we're getting some, some light snow right now, some light snow flurries. And Ben Brissy from Ben's Weather sent me a text telling me that um, this next storm could drop two, two more feet of snow. Um, so he's gonna keep me posted. That is so cool. I'm so grateful for him that he actually likes what I do for you guys and wants to help me by giving me personal info. Like that's just, that is just awesome. The guy is the man. Ben Brissy, you guys, is Ben's weather. That is our meteorologist up here. And apparently he likes our channel here. And I was like, dude, you have to let me take you to lunch. <laughs> you know, look at some of those thick icicles, wow. It's 
So this is the village, you guys. I don't know how many restaurants are actually open or how many shops are open. It looks like a few because there are some cars here. But this is a town that makes its money from the snow. So it's just mind boggling to me that places close when it snows. Like that's when they should be open for longer hours as far as I'm concerned. It's it just, it's so bass backwards. And I've always heard some of the excuses are that employees can't get to work. Well, I mean, then you shouldn't be hiring people who don't have the proper equipment to get to work because they moved to Big Bear. And I mean, that's just, for, for me, that's just no excuse because that puts you guys out. The tourists who come up here and spend money and allow us to live here. You guys are the ones who keep us here. And when you can't come and spend, and spend money up here, then we suffer. So it's incumbent on these places to stay open for you guys for us to live here i mean look at this look at oakside restaurant look at how much snow they have that's just nutty just nutty Wow, there's some humongous icicles over there from the second story all the way down to the first. Okay, we're gonna hang it right here on Big Bear Boulevard. We just left the village. I mean, yeah, it's, oh, wait a minute. Uh, is there... No, that guy, I thought that guy was there putting gas in, but no, he's not. He's just parked there for some odd reason. There's no gas at that Chevron. I could see all the, all the pumps wrapped with caution tape. That's horrible. And I did fill up, you guys. I did fill up. I, I didn't think that I would run out of gas in two days or that all these roads would still be closed. I mean, you can see how they look up here. Our main roads look fine. And we're at a, the highest elevation. But I know running springs on that side of the mountain, they get hit first. And so all the lift from hitting that side of the mountain range really condenses the heck out of these storms and they dump, dump, dump. So lots of times, even though they're a thousand, close to a thousand feet lower in elevation, they can get a lot more snow than, than we can. We get the, the tail end scraps. So I think I better go through a drive-through sadly. I know I'm I'm really sad you guys. I'm 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 pathetic with my fast food, but there's right now there there aren't that many options, so that's a great excuse so I can continue to, to be the fat butt that I am. <laughs> and my baby, I love you. I wish you were here for this storm. My wife went down to see her mom and our kids and our grandkids down in the Whittier area. This is gonna be it for this video. Just wanted you guys to see what the boulevard looks like, what the village looks like. Um, yeah, the holdup is probably avalanches and rock slides. And that's funny to say avalanches up here. <laughs> it really is. But anyway, thank you guys. I really do appreciate all your love and support that, that you guys have shown over the past eight years of me doing this. Um, this channel means a lot to me because of you guys. That's the only only, only thing. Um, I never thought anyone would ever subscribe because I feel like sometimes I'm just such a dork driving around recording the snow. Like I used to think like, who would care? Obviously I cared, but I thought who would care? But 
Love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Help a brother out. I'll talk to you guys. Peace out. Happy snowstorm, y'all.